Hi, I started a mini Kickstarter 12 days ago and so far at the time of recording this video it's 86% founded. It's about open robotic platform chassis kit with 3D printed parts, steel plates, screws, motors and everything else that you need to build your very own ORP chassis. If you want to support the project and get your own chassis there is a link in the description and in this video I will tell you how I started a Kickstarter campaign in just a few days and almost got it founded with very little promotion. Let's start with why I am calling it a mini Kickstarter campaign. There is a thing on Kickstarter called Make 100 and when you launch a project in January and you have exactly 100 rewards, then you are a part of this project and Kickstarter said that they are going to promote these projects. I thought that this is a great opportunity to start with a small project that's quite easy to manufacture, there is not really that much risk, especially that you are making just 100 objects, it's not a very high volume production where you face a lot of different problems, it's very low scale, so it's a great project to start with and also Make 100 just seemed like a very good thing for me to try Kickstarter for the first time. But you might ask, why Kickstarter? This is a place full of scammers, huge companies, collecting money for their new products instead of investing their own money and just projects and products never turned into reality and sure there are examples of that happening on Kickstarter but in general it's a very positive community where you can validate your idea very easily without really risking a lot of money you can check if there are any consumers interested in your product and it's it was always a dream of mine when I was a child when I was in high school I was scrolling through Kickstarter and just thinking that one day I would really really like to have my own product there on Kickstarter. Just the excitement of launching my own campaign and seeing that people might be interested in that and turning it into a real product sounded like such a good idea and I always wanted to try that. But then I focused on just studying, learning all the different things I could have and I have been sharing that online on my YouTube channel on my website, on Instructables, everywhere I could. And now that I'm finishing my studies, I started thinking that maybe I should go back to my dreams from high school and actually start the Kickstarter campaign. Nothing big in the first place, as I said, make 100 perfect to start with. Uh, so it was my dream, I think it's easy to validate and you don't really have to be that negative about Kickstarter because there are some really, really good products there. There is nothing really super complicated about this Kickstarter, so I did everything on my own, including writing the whole campaign, taking the images and making the video. And for such a small project, if that's just Mike 100, I think it's even better to just do it on your own, uh, to make it very personal and to show that you are actually the creator behind this project so that people can support not only project but also you as a person and creator of it. I would say I probably spent like maybe two days, eight hours each day to complete the Kickstarter and to just polish everything and then I uploaded it and it took probably four days to actually got accepted. In the campaign there is all of images, GIFs and videos because it is always much better to actually show something than to just write about it. So I included images of the prototype, of all the parts that will be included in the kit, of general the explanation of what ORP concept is and also my YouTube videos where I used the ORP chassis in my projects and just in general robots that I have built. I try to make everything as clear as possible and explain the most important concepts and part of the campaign but also keep it as short as possible because no one is going to read a very very long description of the campaign. I prefer to keep it short and concise so that someone can read through and understand the project and decide if he actually wants to support it. The video for this campaign will be included at the end of this video. Promotion is a very important part of every business, but for this Kickstarter that, let me remind you, is 86% founded, I really didn't do a lot of promotion. I started with just a post on LinkedIn. My LinkedIn is very small, I really don't care that much about it. Not a lot of people follow me there. Uh, so there was just a post, just, you know, maybe 40 likes and that was it. Then I added a note on the ORP website, so yeah, there is just a section on the website where it says that there is Kickstarter, you can support it and there is Kickstarter widget, that's it. Then I added a post here on YouTube saying that, well, I started a Kickstarter campaign, some explanation, a link and a few images of the ORP chassis and it got like 100 likes, so really not that much. And I also included a link in my older videos about ORP, but these videos don't really get that many views each day. 
so it's not really helping that much. The video you are watching now is the first time that I'm really promoting this Kickstarter from my YouTube channel for hopefully my whole audience, but you know, the YouTube algorithm is what it is, so it's really hard to predict how popular the video will be. If you like it and enjoy it, you can give it a like and share it with friends because it's always helping me a lot. Kickstarter is full of scammers, but not scammers creating fake projects. It's actually on the other side, the site not visible to just a person that wants to support a project on Kickstarter. It's when you launch a campaign, because when I did, in the first hour, I think I got 20 or maybe even more messages from people trying to sell me some kind of promotional services. Some of them were saying that they can bring real bakers into my project and get it founded very quickly. The others were maybe not really scammers, but they were promoting very hard their promotional services through some email list with some crazy return on investment percentages that they were promising or they can even like assure me that I will get X amount of money for Y amount of investment. It was a lot of messages and it was hard to go through them. There is a spam folder on Kickstarter and it was basically empty. I think there were just three messages actually labeled as spam by the algorithm. And it's sad because creating this kind of spam detection algorithm is pretty easy, especially if someone is like saying really huge amount of money and you know, real bakers in the message. It's just so easy, but Kickstarter does not seem to do anything about it. And the sad part is that I actually had to go through every single message because I didn't know. Maybe one of these messages is actually a real person that wants to learn something about my project and wants to support it. And I didn't want to miss that. So I went through every single message and I labeled it as spam. And actually in the end, I don't think there was even a single serious message there. And it wasn't just messages on Kickstarter because I also got messages from my email on my LinkedIn, on my Instagram, and even Facebook that I'm not really using anymore. But yeah, the messages were just literally everywhere and the scammers were trying to help me and support my project. I wasn't interested in any kind of promotional services and I'm aware that probably not all these messages are scammers and sometimes there are real agencies that really could help you with promoting these projects. But as I said, I weren't interested in any kind of promotional services for such a small Kickstarter. The funny thing is, actually one scammer was trying to convince me that he could bring $35,000 into this Kickstarter. As I said, it's Make 100, Kickstarter only 100 euros available. And for the price that this chassis is offered at, there is just no way for this Kickstarter to reach that high amount of money. But the scammer was pretty sure that they can do that, so it was pretty funny. Do I regret starting a Kickstarter? Do I regret starting it as a Make 100? And what's next? I definitely do not regret starting a Kickstarter. I think it was a great idea. And as I said, it always has been a dream of mine. Do I regret starting it as a Make 100? Well, that's a different story because I expected Kickstarter to promote these Make 100 projects a lot more. And maybe they do, I don't know. Maybe it's just my project that I don't like. I'm not sure, but definitely they could do a little bit more to promote Make 100 as, you know, small projects that support little businesses, makers and stuff like that. What's next? If the Kickstarter is successful and there are still people interested in getting the RP chassis kit, I will definitely introduce it to my online store industry.cc. I'm also considering reselling these chassis to other online stores so that they can resell, they can become the resellers of this chassis kit so that it's easier for you to buy it. I have no idea how to organize it, so if you have an online store and you are interested in that, you can send me an email and we can discuss it. Of course, the open robotic platform is still an open source project. You can just go to the website, you don't have to buy anything from me, any chassis on Kickstarter on my online store. No, you can just do it on your own. You can 3D print it, you can laser cut it, you can do seriously whatever you want. You can even make it by hand if you want. Uh, there are parts available in the library, you can download them without logging in. If you want to share the parts, sure, feel free to do that. Just create a free account and upload your parts. I promise that I won't be using parts from other people uh, that I am selling. I will just design my own parts for everything. Uh, so that's it. We have already over 120 users on the RP website. There is 51 parts. So it's going pretty well, the library is still growing. And this is the end of the video. So if you liked it, there is a link to the Kickstarter campaign in the description, there is a link to my online store. If you liked the video, give it a like, share it with friends, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and see you in the next one. And now at the very end, here is my promotional video for this Kickstarter campaign. 
Hi, I'm Nikodem Bartnik and this is the Kickstarter for the first open robotic platform, Chassikit. Open robotic platform, in short, ORP was born as I have been playing with my robotics projects. I began with simple robots and slowly started building bigger and more complex ones. While my experience grew, I noticed a very tedious, time-consuming part of robotics is building the chassis. But having it done properly is essential to smoothly go through the project and focus on the most important problems, usually connected with electronics and programming. It is also worth to mention that most of the robotic chassis or platforms you find online are either really crappy or very expensive with pretty much nothing in between. For most of the hobby or student robots the mechanics is pretty simple, but in order to make it easy to use it should be modular and standardized. And these are the two fundamental blocks of the open robotic platform, an open source library of parts that all work together. This Kickstarter is focused on bringing to the market the first ORP chassis kit, a very similar one to what I used in my YouTube video where I run machine learning on Arduino with a LiDAR to autonomously navigate in a racetrack. This is the 3D printed prototype of the chassis, it is composed of three plates, each 160mm in diameter, featuring ORP hole pattern evenly spaced every 20mm. That allows for easy installation of any holders, modules, sensors and motors. The bottom plate also have cutouts for the motors and wheels, plates in the final version will be laser cut out of 2mm steel and powder coated. Kit will also include 3D printed plate connectors and motor holders, all the screws necessary to assemble the chassis and two motors. Having the experience with organizing production of kits with plates for my DIY CNC machine in the mill that I have been selling on my store for the last 3 years, I'm ready to introduce a new product that will help hobbyists, schools, students and universities in the project they build for fun and in research purposes. Since the project is a part of Kickstarter Make 100, there are only 100 kits available. Thank you very much for your support, happy making!